meant to read your DMs. So all your sex messages and your like dick pics are on my server now. No shit. Yeah. All your illegitimate, illegitimate wives and like all the girls you've been f***ing around with, you're on my server now. Oh my god. I'm gonna send to your wife. I'm so, you and your divorce. So if I send someone a direct message, y'all are gonna look at it to analyze it? A machine's gonna look at it. It is creepy big brother. Like, <laughs> it's creepy big brother. It, I mean, it, it's like a level, level, like it, I don't want to say it freaks me out, but it, it disturbs me. <laughs> I've seen way more penises than I've ever wanted to see in my life. On what? The DM messages? DMs, tweets, yes. Penises? Lots of dicks. There's teams dedicated to us. I mean, we're talking, we're talking about three or four, at least three or three or four hundred people. Yes, they're paying us to look at dick pics. If you go to Twitter for the first time, we have information about you. You leak way more information than you think. I've seen way more penises than I've ever wanted to see in my life. DMs, tweets, yes, lots of dicks. We're trying to get the shitty people not to go up. We are in SCPS Facebook, Google, 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 how much information do they have, and what are they doing with it? What do you do at Twitter? Uh, I work at, I'm an engineer in the messaging team. So you could totally hack her DMs. Maybe I could, maybe I couldn't, you know? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe I could hack into her. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Who knows, right? Pranay Singh, like a lot of the engineers we talked with, seemed to have a more than cavalier attitude about user privacy. It is almost like the whole culture at Twitter is about abusing and laughing at users. So everything you send is stored in my server. So oh I can, shit! I can't exactly can, I, what you're can, I, can I delete it? You can. It's all on my server. So all your sex messages and your like dick pics are on my server now. No shit. Yeah. All your illegitimate, illegitimate wives and like all the girls you've been f***ing around with, you're on my server now. Oh my god. I'm gonna send it to your wife. I'm so you and your divorce. Singh says looking at DMs is not just a joke, it's business. Big business. So what happens is like when you like write stuff or when you post pictures online, they never go away. Like they're always on there. Um, because like even after you send them, people are like analyzing them, they're seeing what you're interested in, they're seeing what you're talking about, and they sell that data. They sell to who? Like advertisers? Advertisers. Like, Wait, are you talking about just regular tweets or the DMs? Or both? Everything. Anything so, you post online. Wow. So online. even what you think is private, direct message. Yeah. They're it's analyzing it and selling that. A machine's gonna look at it, an algorithm will look at it, Why? and they'll make a, a virtual profile about you. This is not your run-of-the-mill big data. This is personal and specific, and that has a high premium to advertisers. To actually charge advertisers for money, we have to prove it was you, and that's why using like an email address or like a cookie, something that can track you, yeah, that's more likely. That. Mihai Florea is a Twitter software engineer who's been with the company for three years. That's how we make most of our money. So. Yeah, so you kind of like sign your privacy away, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. You're, you're paying for the right to use our website with your data, basically. Yeah. And it's the same on every free website. It seems like Twitter is completely at the mercy of the almighty advertising gods. Twitter's power is terrifying, and it extends far beyond its platform. You leak way more information than you think. Okay. Like, we have information from people, like, if you go to Twitter for the first time, we have information about you. Okay. Because, like, we actually bought a company because of this, like, Ads Network. So, like, when you visit, like, we serve ads okay. for other companies uh -huh. in other people's sites. Okay. So, when you go and you see that ad, we get the information that you're this person seeing this ad at this moment, at this location, on this website. Okay. So we already have a lot of information about you. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's it's, scary. Yeah. Like, 
I mean, what if that fell into the wrong hands? How would you protect people from that? You don't. You don't? <laughs> There's no way. Indeed, Twitter's privacy policy states, quote, we receive information when you view content on or otherwise interact with our services, even if you have not created an account, unquote. It is creepy big brother. Like, <laughs> it's creepy big brother. It, I mean, it, it's like a level, level of, like, it, I don't want to say it freaks me out, but it, it disturbs me. Twitter's overarching surveillance begs the question, how private are your privates? I get to look at all the reported tweets, oh. which means I've seen a lot of dick pics. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so how do you keep those from popping up? Um, like, are there like little robots? There are bots. Um, there's something called machine learning, which basically, when someone reports uh, that picture, um, it gets put into a database, and okay. then as more more of those pictures come into place, uh, the machine, uh, our services learn. Uh, that, that's not appropriate. Yeah, and, okay. and also more, more along the lines that they can actually start guessing, like, is this is this uh, equipment or is this maybe like an elbow or something? Yeah, so. or is this just a man named Dick? Yeah, exactly. When I met with Clay Haynes last week, he was quite forthcoming about his access to intimate photos. Did you say something about that when you were saying you looked at um, Twitter? Yeah, like nothing's yeah. really deleted. No, yeah. Uh, oh, wow. Yes, and, Yes, I did, and no, it's not. <laughs> like everything? Like, everything. like even everything. like DMs? Oh, yeah, we can actually read your DMs. <laughs> I've seen way more penises than I've ever wanted to see in my life. On what? DM messages? DMs, tweets, yes. Penises? Lots of dicks. It sounds like there's a lot of porn involved in what you do. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> Unfortunately, there is a lot of porn. I mean, when you see all these, like, dicks, like, that's crazy. That's, yeah. Like, and, and for, you know, actually, I've never I know been able to, yeah, yeah. Uh, this sounds horrible, but yeah. I'm actually glad and fortunate it's just dicks, or it's just blowjob pictures, yeah. or it's oh, just wow. that, that type of stuff. No, these are, like, private messages. Both private and public messages. It's like People, DMs, too. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of scary that that stuff is stored, you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Like, you know, and... That could be, that could be shared. I mean, do you, you have access to DMs at Twitter? Oh, I, I do, yeah. Okay. So when you people have access to this stuff, they can, they can leak it. It happens. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's a genie out of the bottle kind of thing after that point. Yeah. You know, sure, I could borrow them. Heck, I could probably even sue them in some cases. Oh, yeah. But if the genie's already out of the bottle. Like, how do you actually recoup costs that you... You can't calculate the cost or the damage of that. Of sharing a, of sharing a penis picture. Yeah. yeah. There's teams dedicated to it. I mean, we're talking we're talking about three or four, at least three or three or four hundred people. Yes, they're paying to look at dick pics. You know, there's girls that will spread eagle pictures on there. Whoa. Like a boyfriend and a girlfriend, right? No. What is that? Porn stars. Why are they DMing? Him? People. They're trying to get people to, you know, go buy their videos and shit. To, to, to private messages. Private message, public message. Yeah. With access to your most intimate photos and information, Twitter is big brother. What's more alarming, they're not the biggest brother. Do they know anything from, like, ad services, though? Like, you know how, like, ad companies know a bunch about you? Well, we know some stuff. We are in FPS, Facebook, or okay. Google, but we know some stuff. So there you have it. Twitter is aggressively harvesting your personal information, tracking your every movement, your thoughts, and your private correspondence with your significant other. According to Clay Haynes, Twitter's senior network security engineer, if that privilege is abused, then you, quote, can't calculate the cost of that damage. American Pravda by James O'Keefe. Adventure, betrayal, truth. Pre-order today at AmericanPravdaBook.com.